Welcome to my off-grid project in Portugal. This video includes building stairs, installing a French drain, two amazing visitors and living standards are rising with the completion of an outdoor shower. If you like this project, please subscribe. I'd be super grateful. I'm picking up Selina, the next volunteer. She's from Germany and I'm just picking her up from the bus stop. Yoohoo! So excited to meet her. Welcome Zelina! She's an amazing hands-on person and she saw my videos on YouTube and wanted to become part of it. That's how she found me. We're gonna put up Mareike's tent now. She's also coming tonight. <laughs> I thought she was coming tomorrow, but it's fine. going to close this little trench. It's done! And Selina is cooking! <laughs> My name is Mareike. Currently, I live and work in Switzerland. I like the thought to live off the grid one day, but for the next days, I'll be helping Maya on her homestead as a volunteer. Today, we're going to put another coat on the two walls and just cement and water to make it even more waterproof. And that's the next step to seal the walls. As you can watch in the last videos, the stone houses are built into the hill, so the hillside walls need dam proofing. And step by step we're working towards this goal. <laughs> so we coated the wall now with water and cement to fill in the little gaps and pores and now it's already becoming a smoother surface and now the three of us are going to fill in the soak pads with some rocks as only organic liquids are being used here, the grey water from showers and kitchen will just go into this, basically into a hole with rocks. And the surrounding soil and deeper layers of earth will do the cleaning of it. This is the start of a soak pad for the future bathhouse shower block. Somebody in the past dumped building rubble here so we have lots of material. Shower soak bed is done. Next is the soak bed on the river terrace close to the cabin. <laughs> Woo! Power team! The soak bed is filled up with rocks now. Since I came here, there were no real steps from the river terrace up to the cabin terrace. We decided it was a good idea now that Selina is sleeping in the tent and needs proper steps up to the cabin to actually build some steps. So we are looking for some nice rocks now. And lucky enough, there's many rocks on this land. <sighs> Thank you. 
my daily task to water the balcony so the cement can harden very well. Also, the cement on the walls gets its water treatment. Team Rock removing! Mareike and Selina are amazing, really power queens. It's so motivating to work together in a team. Now we are starting to clean up the mess from all the trenches for the water system. Because it's so easy to trip over these rocks. So much better now, no stones to trip over. last trench is closed now and seriously this was now really the last trench teamwork the rock team is rocking it team rocket <laughs> Now we are removing the rocks on the river terrace because when you swim there you always hit so many rocks So it's bitumen time, which will make the walls waterproof. I'm so excited. I've never worked with this material. Let's see how it's going. Bitumen party! We're putting on our worst and oldest clothes because we don't know if bitumen ever comes out of clothes. Vamos ao bitumen. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. My new pudding. Yeah. Oh. Delicious. Yummy. Could be some really good chocolate cake. Yeah. Lava cake. really black. I never painted a wall black. <laughs>
Then you're going to have me. Successful! A black wall! Hi! Is that a Paul? Good morning! Hi Paul! I'm a writer! Nice to meet you! What are you <laughs> Having fun? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Mr. Shower Man! Paul is gonna install his shower now with cold water! <laughs> but a shower! I feel so bad, but the girls and I, we're gonna paint the bitumen. And I really want to do this I'm, shower. But I'm glad I'm doing this and not painting, painting the bitumen. My job. <laughs> Possessive of the job. Mine. All mine. Can I do it? That was easy. So I feel like we are professional builders now with the bitumen wall it looks very professional <laughs> we'll do the second coating today the team rocks totally beautiful let's go so today we make the second coat up and down yesterday we did side to side So we decided we need some concrete to make the steps really stable. So we'll start a little concrete mix. So we chose this beautiful rock <laughs> for our next step because it's big. <laughs> Toes. I'm feeling very guilty standing and watching. Oh, you can. How do we get this rock down? Oh. <laughs>
beautiful. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Good job. What a transformation. So the steps are almost finished. Just the last two steps are missing. We couldn't finish them before the rain, but it's gonna be a quick finishing touch. I'm so grateful for all the skills I'm learning because last summer I couldn't have done this and now with the help of my volunteers it's so easy and so much fun. Bushy bushy tomatoes. Still so many on there. A little harvest. The grapes are actually really good and the fusales too, but it's only a handful. Oh, I hear a truck. The truck is coming. Thank you. Guess what the gravel is for? It will be revealed in the next video. But first, we need a pathway now. Good morning. After we had a very rainy night, it's time for the French drain. So, today, the three of us are going to make a foundation for the French drain and cement it in. First time on a cement mixer for the girls, but today they're going to become experts very quickly as we need lots of concrete for this pipe. Mareike is tidying up the hill of dirt next to the trench so that the wheelbarrow can actually go down there. The pipe is perforated so the holes at the top need to stay clear of cement. Don't step on the pipe, don't step on the concrete, don't lean on the bank or mud is gonna fall in. Wow, it's fast sauber geblieben. Danke. Okay, ich hab sie. Glück, ich meine, es hätte ja auch voll auf mich rauffallen können. Yeah. As Selena just remarked, other people have professional builders and just like a long tube with all the concrete and we are just doing it by ourselves. I think we can be super proud of that. Okay. Ja. 
most amazing team. <laughs> Are we gonna make it before the rain? It's supposed to rain soon. And I just got back from the shop to get this last little piece that we needed. I forgot to buy a piece, so we are just finishing now, just leaving it like that. The rain is coming for sure in the next video, but first I'd like to show you what the finished shower looks like. So this is a real teamwork project. After Zelina painted it the first time, now it's ready for the second coat. I'm so grateful that Paul installed the gas heater. Thank you so much. Bitumen time! To protect the posts I'm just gonna use the bitumen. May I present my outdoor bathroom with a little compost toilet and the shower with hot water which is run by a gas heater. It still needs a roof for the gas heater and some drainage for the shower. Let me know if you have any ideas. The moment of moments has arrived where my off-grid life becomes actually a luxury. The water comes from the water mine of the water system, so it's always super cold and refreshing. Now with the gas heater, it's such a luxury. I'm enjoying it so much. When there are more people here, I can attach shower curtains for some privacy. But as it is now, it's a very hidden place here. This is the volunteer tent. And the view goes to the river and the creek. So beautiful. 